How's it everyone? Welcome back to another string review right here on Open Court. I'm Kent and today I'm finally finishing up my Solinko line string review. Now this doesn't count like Hyper G Soft, Tour Byte Soft, but on today's review I'm finally trying out the last Solinko polyester string that I've never tried in their polyester lineup and that string is the Solinko Barb Wire. Let's check it out. So the Solenco line of polys is quickly becoming one of the most popular polyester lines on the market and this barb wire is very unique because of the shape. So that's the selling point of the barb wire. It has the square shaped profile like the Tour Bite and the Hyper G but it's also twisted and this is the only twisted poly in the Solenco lineup and it reminds me of one of my favorite polyesters on the market which is the Ytex Quadro Twist which is also uh, four-sided and twisted. This string also comes in three gauges, 130, 125, and 120 millimeters. And one set of this is around $1,199, or a full reel will run you a little under $160. So the player profile that this string is best suited for, according to Tennis Express, says, best suited to hard-hitting baseliners looking for maximum spin and durability without sacrificing feel and power. So that goes in line with just about everything I've heard of this string. I've never used this before, but I've heard that it's more of a control oriented, a little bit on the stiffer side, possibly deader feeling, kind of like RPM Blast. Um, that would be very different from the Quadro Twist if that is the case. But this is my first time trying it, and I am anticipating, hopefully, very good spin and very good control. This is rated as the, the highest rated spin potential string in the Solinco lineup. All right, so I got the Solinko barbed wire strung up in my head Boom Pro, which is one of my favorite rackets. And noticing it now, it does look very similar to the Quadro Twist. The edges are not quite as sharp as the Tour Bite or the Hyper G. So it is actually similar to the Quadro Twist in that respect because they're both slightly smoother shaped strings, but they're both twisted. And I strung this at 52 pounds, uh, both mains and crosses. I used to drop the tension in the crosses, but I actually now just decided to go straight same tension both ways. And that is my reference tension, so I'm going to try it out at that tension, see if it gets that spin and the control. So let's get on the court and try out the barbed wire, but before that, if you guys are liking this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button to keep the reviews coming. So let's start out with the pros of the Solinko barbed wire. This string's main selling point is the amazing spin and control. Does it deliver? Well, yes, in one category, control. I'm not saying the spin is bad, but more on that later. The barbed wire pretty much felt exactly as described by the packaging and all the user reviews I've read online. This string does a great job of reining in the power from long, fast swings. I'm not a powerful hitter by any means, but I like to take aggressive swings from the baseline, especially my return of serves, and I could trust my shots would stay inside the lines with this string. Trust and confidence is probably the biggest pro with this string and is arguably the most important aspect when it comes to strings in general. Can you trust your own shots with a certain string or racket? With the barbed wire, I trusted my forehand strokes would fly low over the net and dip inside the baseline. This allowed me to stay on the gas, go for high risk shots, and play my style of attacking tennis. I have the most fun on court when I'm aggressively attacking the ball and I could do that with the barbed wire. I especially like this string on my return of serves. I like to step inside the baseline and take the ball early to dictate the pace and the barbed wire kept my aggressive returns inside the court. I usually return from the ad court in doubles, but I returned some from the deuce court and the forehand cross court return felt awesome. I could pull the ball across my body and it stayed low over the net with good pace. One underappreciated aspect of control is height control. The barbed wire allowed me to dip the ball low at my opponent's feet at net or keep it low so the opposing net player could not poach. I could also aim higher and get the ball to land deep so I could push my opponent back and rush the net. Height and directional control worked together well to give me confidence on my returns. Another interesting area with the barbed wire is the serve. 
I say interesting because I can't really explain why, but my first serve percentage with this string was really high and I could go for corners with my slice serve with ease. My initial thought with this string was that I would be faulting a lot into the net because it feels quite stiff and dead, but when I started playing matches with it, my first serve percentage with my slice was off the charts. I don't know how to explain it, but I could use my flat slice hybrid serve into the body as a weapon and it won me a lot of easy points. Although the overall power level on my serves was low, I'll usually take accuracy and percentage over raw power any day. The feel of the barbed wire was also very interesting. I would say this string is properly named. It does feel a bit wiry. It has a brief break in period, much like the Solinko Revolution, and once it breaks in, the string bed gets a little more flexible. But this is still a stiff string, but it doesn't play exactly like RPM in my opinion. The feel is lively, as in the ball feels like it comes off the strings faster, but it doesn't have a very crisp feel. I'm struggling to think of a good comparison at the moment. It has a deader feel, but the ball springs off the strings with decent pace. I enjoyed this response from the baseline, but I struggled to find my touch at net. More on that later. Let's touch on the spin potential. It's great on baseline ground strokes and slices, but it doesn't feel as great on serves. The barbed wire's construction is similar to Witex Quadro Twist, but the Quadro Twist is more elastic so it displaces and snaps back better on serves. So I couldn't hit kick serves with the barbed wire that bounced like the Quadro Twist, but it isn't too shabby. The ground strokes and slices is where the spin potential truly shines. When I swing more vertically, like on a low ball that I want to hit topspin on, I could really see the ball dropping fiercely. This string would be a good complement to a racket like the Pure Arrow that wants spin. On slices, the barbed wire grips the ball tightly and produces a low gliding slice. I could hit frisbee-like slices and use that shot offensively to close the net. Overall, the barbed wire falls in line with many of Solinko's other polys in that it is a stiff, spin-oriented control string that baseliners will enjoy. Now let's get into the cons of the Solinko barbed wire. The area of my game that I struggled most with this string is on volleys. I dumped so many volleys into the net. That deader feel I mentioned earlier hurt my net game and since I'm a servant volleyer, this affected me more than probably most people. I like strings that have a bit more feel and are crisper so that I don't have to swing out as much at net and rely on placement. I really had to punch at the volleys to get them to even cross the net. Reflex volleys where I had to quickly react were difficult especially if I didn't catch the ball in the center. The barbed wire made my life difficult when I wanted to dominate the net and that is a big no-no for me. Also, like I mentioned earlier, the barbed wire spin potential on kick serves didn't quite live up to what I expected. Because the string has a stiff construction, it doesn't really snap back on the serve. The kick serve basically has two halves, the initial flight path of the serve, then the upward kick after it bounces. The barbed wire puts a tight grip on the ball so the ball dives down inside the service line, but it doesn't bounce quite as high as I expected it would. My opponents didn't struggle as much to return my kick serves as I had hoped. Since the kick serve is the serve I use most, I had to work harder to hold my service games. The barbed wire is also quite stiff. Stiffness doesn't bother me, in fact I quite like stiff setups, but this string doesn't really have much touch for drop shots and angle volleys. I couldn't drop the ball on a dime like with the Solinko Tour Bite. Those strings are stiff but have good direct ball feedback. The barbed wire is not for those who have arm problems. This string is going to wreck arms. It has a very wiry feel and I could feel the vibration lingering on my hand. Do not use if you have tennis elbow, in fact just stay away from poly strings in general. And lastly, the power level of the barbed wire is low. This comes from the stiffness. I couldn't hit penetrating flat serves and backhand ground strokes with this string. My backhand felt more like a defensive shot than one I could rely on to set up a point. Speaking of defense, anytime I had to hit running ground strokes, I would exert all my energy only to watch my shot fall into the net. I couldn't transition from defense to offense easily and only the slice could bail me out when I was in trouble. So who is the Solinko barbed wire for? It's pretty much meant for the same player that the tour bite and revolution is for. Players who can generate their own power and want a stiff control string to curb those aggressive swings will be able to make the most of the barbed wire. If you are a vertical swinger and rely on deep top spin shots, the barbed wire will add to your spin generation. If you have a slower swing or don't like stiff strings, the barbed wire is not for you. The Tour Bite Revolution and maybe even Hyper G have a more responsive feel, so if you like deader playing strings, the barbed wire fits that bill, although not quite as dead as something like RPM Blast. So now, I have tried every single Solinko polyester string except for Tour Bite Soft and Hyper G Soft, 
I plan to do a review on both of those in the near future. So, what do you guys think of barbed wire and Solinko polys in general? Have you tried barbed wire? What is your favorite Solinko string? Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you for watching this string review of the Solinko barbed wire string right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an Open Court.